The chip eating part of a Days Before Rodeo song is sampled in something else. Yes. It's crunch time. Welcome back to Hive Mind Unlimited. Yeah, we're bringing samples to this channel because it's unlimited. Unlimited, we're allowed to do whatever we want. It's free reign. Free reign Wilson. Get Dwight out. <laughs> He's in PC jail for being too funny. <laughs> how are you going to cancel a beat farmer? If you haven't seen the series on our main channel, here's how it's going to work. DJ Grant's going to play us a song or sound that has been sampled in a popular rap song. We're going to have to guess what popular rap song that is. One point for each one we get right. Me versus Graydon versus you. Pumpkin in Jonesboro. Your name is Pumpkin. <laughs> That is awesome. Before we hear the first one, our Patreon or our Cameo are linked in the description. As always, subscribe to the channel. And also, we have a live show October 30th in Detroit, Michigan. It's a Halloween party featuring our friends, Nick is Not Green, Dev Lemons, Gabby Bell, Jacob Sigmund, Lil Rosie, and more. Tickets are in the description. Please pop out. It's going to be super fun. It's all ages, so if you're a toddler, feel free to come on out and party with us. It's totally safe. If you're two years old and you're a fan of this channel, you're welcome at the show. And if you're a two-year-old fan of this show, one other thing. I got your nose. <laughs> give it back, give oh, it back. Oh, no, 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 no. Ah. Uh, <laughs> Grant, do us the honor of the first sample, please. On a bread for morning, I'm with it. Bon Iver. Yeah. Yeah. So this is sampled in something. Why don't I know it? I feel like I would know. Yeah. I'm, I'm a Bon Iver fan. Uh-huh. I'm a fan of a lot of the people that he collaborates with. What if I told you? Justin Vernon had that dog in him. What if I told you that Bon Iver was on that freak shit? <laughs> if he was the pastor at church, I would be there every Sunday. I would go to school if this was the teacher picture of Bon Iver. <laughs> this was the curriculum, Bon Iver's self-titled album. And this was the classroom, picture of a cabin in Wisconsin. <laughs> Three, two, one. I put First Take by Travis Scott. I put Blessings, Chance the Rapper. This is Feel Like Dying by Playboy Cardi. It is. Really? Yeah, he pitches it way up, doesn't he? Yeah. I never knew that. I done met different type of girl. See, it's so like in your face, but I just never put it together. Like, yeah. I can't believe I never noticed that. Yeah, it's weird. It fits so well. All right, Grant, hit us with sample number tizzle. One plus one equals two. <laughs> what is that? That's Beyonce, right? Beyonce, one plus one, yeah. Yeah. Sounds like a musical. This fall on Broadway, Beyonce does simple arithmetic. <laughs> <laughs> night one, addition. <laughs> night two, algebra. And night three, we explore the hypotenuse of an isosceles triangle. Beyonce's smash hit Broadway play has been renewed for a sequel. Coming this fall, calculus. <laughs> <laughs> Critics say it's her most confusing work to date. <laughs> At some points, losing the entire audience. Some say, what could this possibly be for? When will I use this? <laughs> Three, two, one. I put Hot Shit by Cardi B. I put 777 seven, seven by Silk Sonic. This is Rock and Roll by Pusha T featuring Kid Cudi and Kanye. Yeah, oh, I could not get there. I knew it was something Kanye related. That's why I guessed Hot Shit. I just guessed the first song I could think of with numbers in it. <laughs> Oh, that was right. My, that was my philosophy. <laughs> Damn it, dude. Shout out Pusha T. I know him personally. No, you don't. Yes, I do. You don't know him personally. Yes, I do. No, you yes, always do. say you know him, and then you, like I say, bring him to the party, bring him to my ultimate Frisbee match, like whatever it is, just have him pull up somewhere. He don't mess with you. He don't know you like that. I've known him since I was a child. You don't know him. He coached my flag football team. There's now what? zero pictures of you with him. Oh, I don't take pictures with him. What am I, like a, a cockbiter? He doesn't follow you on anything. Like, it don't matter. We're friends. In real life, there I've okay. I just all I'm asking is for like even a hint, something, a whiff. Here's a hint. Man, I can't believe I missed that. Yeah, it's whatever. I'll be fine. Sound like the end of a video game when you get the credits. Hmm. Man, I feel dumb as a rock today. Do you think in the long run, this kind of like self-induced frustration is gonna be bad for us? Eh, I feel like this isn't more frustrating than other people's jobs. <laughs> That's true. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. It's like a playful frustration. Yeah. It's like, oh boy, I can't think of a song. But like when we walk out of here, that's not gonna matter. Yeah. You know? Some people are like deciding whether people live or die. Trying to think of a sample is like one of the least stressful 
stressful parts mm-hmm. of my life. Yeah. yeah. So who's the funniest celebrity couple to you right now? Like funny that they're together or funny like they are a comedic super duo? Like, yeah, funny that they're together. I mean, I hate to bring it up because I know how it gets you. Yeah. But I mean, Trevor Noah and Dua Lipa is a very funny one to me. It was just a stunt. They're not actually dating. What do you, what? They're not together. That was like a... Comedy Central, put that on. Comedy Central? Like, yeah. The TV net? Like, yeah, it's like a joke. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> it's not real, dude. I can't believe you still believe that shit. Trevor Noah and Dua Lipa. I mean, it's a budding romance, I thought. <laughs> They're not actually. <laughs> that was just a stunt for a TV network, a failing one, too. They've been seen kissing. Yeah, super funny. <laughs> Three, two, one. I put Forever by oh. Drake and Eminem in them. I put Lemon by NERD. <laughs> This is She Will by Lil Wayne featuring Dre. Fuck. You were right there. I, I knew it. Had I, it. I had Lil Wayne in my head rapping over it and was like, this is definitely a Lil Wayne thing, but I just, for some reason, thought forever. You were close. Mm. I was not close again. All right, let's hear She Will. Life on the edge. I'm dangling my feet. I tried to pay attention, but attention paid me. God. That is the goat right there. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to pay attention, but attention paid me. Yeah. Such a good line. Do you think we'll still, still send like Christmas cards when we're old? I don't send them now. Well, I know, but like your parents do. No. Bullshit. My parents have not sent one in like five years. Yeah. It just seems pretentious too. If I get like a letter on my door that's just your family says Merry Christmas and you're all in little cute sweaters. Like what the, it's not even an invite. It's an update. It's like a Facebook status at yeah, that it's point. Weird it's weird as shit. Like, yeah, we're all alive and this is what my kids look like now. They're getting old. Yeah, look at little Dylan. Who's Little Dylan? That's like their kid. Oh, okay, word. <laughs> yeah. I thought that was like a person. Like, Check it out, Little Dylan's in our family now. <laughs> One hit wonder fame. <laughs> you had that song, Crank My Ho. Crank My Ho? You don't remember Little Dylan's track, Crank My Ho? I don't. No. I used to get fucked up to that song. <laughs> and he joined a family that you are acquaintances with back in Swanton, Ohio? Yeah, he went flat ass broke. Record label dropped him and he had to get adopted by the family that I knew. Crank My Ho was kind of a flash in the pan, it turns out. Yeah. <laughs> yep. And he got addicted to pills and now the Bet Fingers adopted him. The Bet Fingers? <laughs> Bet. Oh, sorry. Yeah. They're a famous family from where I'm from. They're very rich. They own lots of lands. The Bet Fingers. <laughs> Bet Fingers. That's right. Two T's. B-E-T-T. F-I-N-G-E-R-S. Bet Fingers. They own lots of lands. Be careful with what you say. I'm not saying anything about powerful them. people. I get it. Yeah, bet fingers. Let's listen to another sample. Mm. That's my kind of shit, though. That shit's funky as fuck, right? You know how, like, art critics are always perceived to be, like, snooty, yeah. sort of, like, thin mustache, turtleneck sort mm-hmm. of guy who, like, squints at it and then is like, oh, I see the meaning, blah, 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 blah. Mm-hmm. I think it'd be very funny for it to have a disruptive art critic. Yeah. Who's just in there on some, like, roast shit. Like, he goes up oh. to it <laughs> and he's like, this painting stinks. Put it in the fart museum. Yeah. And then, like, everybody's <laughs> like, what the hell? This is supposed to be a classy event. And yeah. he just, like, literally spits on it. <laughs> Seems like somebody drank a little too much coffee, got shaky hand on this one. I mean, geez, these strokes are all over the place. Yeah, I like the idea of them still having like the technical back background to like justify their criticism, but their criticism itself is like baby stuff. I think there's one snooty critic who's like, your take on Baroque here is, is very interesting. And he's like, oh, it's Baroque, all right. Somebody ought to fix it. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> I need a few more of these little pops if I'm gonna make it through this exhibit. Three, two, one. I put What More Can I Say by No Worries. Put five Five star wanted level baby tron. This is about damn time by Lizzo. Mm, really? In a minute, I'ma need a sentimental man or woman to <laughs> To what? In a minute, I'ma need a sentimental man or woman to <laughs> <laughs> What exactly do you want this person to do? In a minute, I'm gonna need a sentimental man or woman to. How could you possibly need that from somebody? <laughs> I mean, it's sexy. Yeah, shout out Lizzo, just played in D. Shout out Lizzo for playing that two million year old flute. <laughs> in a minute, I'm gonna need a sentimental man or woman to suck my flute. <laughs> oh, jeez, man. Okay, okay, all right. It's about damn time. Okay, yeah, I hear that little bass line in there. Hit me with the next sample, DJ Grant. I can like hear the rapping coming in. Shit, this one is so obvious too. Like I know it, but I just can't. There's two big songs that sampled this. 
Maybe if I play it, it'll come to me. <laughs> oh, I think I got it. Oh my God, if I get this wrong though, I'm gonna flat flip out, I'm gonna freak out. I'm gonna do a physical freak out, like a tantrum. I'm prepared for that, so yeah. like, I brought the diaper bag and everything. We'll get you switched up. And like, I'm gonna do like one of those classics where I like, I kick the wall. Yeah. I'm gonna like, I'm gonna run around in circles. I'm gonna freak out like a goose. Like I'm gonna have to apologize to the waiter and everybody else in the restaurant. Yeah, that sort of thing. Yeah. You ever feel like you haven't freaked out in a while? Yeah. And you kind of owe it to yourself to just fully lose it? Yeah. <laughs> Like, that's what, fully lose it. Like, that's why I have my cozy room. Your cozy room? I go in my cozy room and I flip the fuck out. What's the cozy room? I put mattresses on the walls and the ceilings and all sorts of shit. Pillows everywhere. Really? Yeah, and I go- Why would you go in there to freak out? It seems like a Molly room or something. It suppresses the sound and it's safe. I can't really hurt myself in there, but uh, I will flip out. It's almost like you're putting yourself in solitary confinement. Exactly. Yeah. Three, two, one. Oh, my diss side? I put yes indeed, little baby. This is Oh My Diss Side by Travis Scott and Bank Account by 21 Savage. Yes. Bank Account's where I recognize yes. it from. Whoa. Shit. That's crazy that it's both of those songs. Yeah. Huge They're songs. such big songs. Wow, thank God I don't have to do the tantrum thing. You know, it was gonna be a lot of energy to expend. Like, I didn't want to do that. Yeah, I wasn't ready for it either. I know I told you I was, but yeah. that was just like in hopes that you wouldn't. I've been up for a long time. Broad day, I've been popping pills for a that is very cool that two hit songs that are very different from one another can sample the same song right. and I didn't ever notice it. Yeah. I never was like, bank account kind of sounds like, oh, my diss side. Right. Hit us with that next one. Let's go. Is it just the chip? It's the chip eating. This is Backyard by Travis Scott. The chip eating part of a Days Before Rodeo song is sampled in something else. Yes. It's crunch time. <laughs> I gotta believe it's just another intro, but maybe it's just cooked into a beat somehow. It's like right on top of the 808. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so wait, technically Travis Scott was kind of experimenting with chip tune. Yep, early on everything pretty much. <laughs> that guy is yeah. a pioneer. Three, two, one. I put Honest by Don Tolliver. I put Munch by Ice Spice. <laughs> This is Matt Hardy 999 by Trippy Red and Juice World. Wow, you know what's so weird? I thought Trippy Red. In my head, I was uh, like, I was deciding between Trippy Red and Don Tolliver, because I was like, Don Tolliver, close with Travis. Uh -huh. Trippy Red, very inspired by Travis. Right, that makes sense. And so I was like, I love your guess, though. Yeah, I went for the munch. <laughs> Maybe they snuck a little <laughs> in there. You I thought was I was just... feeling you. Heard a munch? I guessed munch. <laughs> <laughs> I just got a million bears today. I need Trippy Red to come back with some ass. Yeah, we need Trippy Red to have a little Yachty moment. Yeah, for like sure. Like a Poland moment, mm -hmm. you know? I could see that. I know we've talked about it a lot recently, but Lil Yachty doing that means that other people can do yeah. it now. He like revitalized the space. That's yeah. so cool. I hope we get a drum hit. I hope we get like a Trippy Red hit. I hope we get like, like a Saw Baby hit. Yeah. You know, I want to hear like all of it come back, but with new sounds. Yeah. All right, now to my favorite part of the game, Riley. Yeah, for the next two, Grant and I have selected samples for each other to guess from. So DJ Grant is going to play a sample that I have selected and Graydon's gonna guess and vice versa. D -D -D DJ Grant, hit it. Serve me up. That piano is amazing. It's the most distracting sample. I just wanna get lost in that funk. All right, you got some? Yeah, I feel like I'm in the realm. I feel decent about it. I don't feel great, but I'm not gonna flip out. A couple of Ohio players like us, you know? <laughs> Three, two, one. I guess Ignorant Shit by Jay-Z. This is Brooklyn's Finest by Jay-Z featuring Biggie. Yeah. <sighs> okay, I lied. I'm gonna flip out a little bit. You're gonna flip out? Oh. Don't flip out. Fuck. No, come fuck. on. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Uh, <laughs> Brooklyn's Finest. Fuck. I'm reloaded. In the way the cop sweat uh -huh. The number one question is can the feds get us? Uh -huh. I got been dead as a dice game. That's awesome. That yeah. song is so good, dude. I, I need to listen to that Ohio Players track now, too. Yeah. That is a fucking bop. But that song is legendary. I want a point. I know you do, but it's not polite to point. Look at that freak. Does see? Don't do that. Oh, really? Yeah, don't. All right, serve him up a platter of the shit slop I brought in today. Oh, okay. Well, who we got here? Sister Sledge. Sister Sledge. Uh-huh. 
I know who would sample this and I know what you would pick by the person who would sample this and I know that there's <laughs> another one that we already did in this game so we can't use that one. Wow. So I think by process of elimination and only that yeah. <laughs> I have gotten to the right answer. <laughs> Sometimes I hate how well we know each other. You yeah. know what I mean? I think I really got it. And low key is kind of like you and me. Uh, yeah, the, all right, here we go. Three, two, one. Let's twin go. flame. Yeah. It is Twin Flame by Catronata featuring Anderson. Ah. Yes. Okay. I have not heard that song that many times. I didn't really like it when mm -hmm. it came out, but it just is screams a Catronata loop. It's that perfect three chord descending little thing. Yep. You always got some way around it. You never had to pay for gotcha. You always got the waves around you. I want to hear like something recent from them because they were like we recorded this three years ago and then it came out and right. that like never is good with me it never sits right I want it to be like we got in the studio yesterday and this is out today yeah I do like it when it feels I don't know like you're still existing in the space they were thinking about it right because like three years ago you can't like imagine what it's going to be like to release a song in three years it's three years ago everyone was on acid now everyone's on mushrooms you know it's like completely different vibes everyone yeah everyone's on mushrooms now every single person is on mushrooms Mushrooms and three years ago, every single person was on acid? Facts. That's not true. I was. I mean, yeah, but you're not everybody. Like, your experience is unique. Consciousness is all one, though. Not really. You don't no. believe in that? Uh-uh. I think individually, everybody has their own thing going on. See, I think we all share it, and when I'm high, everyone else is high. If you believe that consciousness is all one, you believe that you share a consciousness with, like, war criminals, serial yeah. killers. Yeah, could have been you on your worst day. On my worst day, I could not be a war criminal or a serial killer. I'm sorry, <laughs> I just couldn't. I don't believe you. That worries me for what you believe that your consciousness is capable of. I could either win a Nobel Peace Prize or commit the most egregious war crimes. You're capable of both of those. Everyone is, because it's all one it's thing, man. Not, We're just all just together. It's not true. We are both Satan and God incarnate. I don't think we're either. Who's that, Jacob Collier's quartet? Uh, I got a question for you. Would you rather have unlimited clothes and unlimited drugs, any substance, including beverages, or unlimited food for the rest of your life? Like you never have to pay for food again, or you never have to pay for clothes or any substance. Well, one's a quick death. Which one's the quick death? Well, I mean, if I'm dripped out with all the drugs in the world available to me at any point, I'm not lasting a month. Really? No. Access is what's keeping you from that? Probably. Really? If there was a magical closet that anything could appear in, and I walk out in a dream fit every day, pocket full of uppies, pocket full of downies, head full of hallucinogenies. I mean, what? I mean, I don't know. I didn't think that that was like the, the one barrier stopping you. It was just access. I mean, if I knew a guy for this and that, I'd have this and that. With that being said, I do want to be a little more swaggy. Unlimited food, like anywhere I want though. Yeah. Like I can go to every Michelin star restaurant in the world and get whatever I want. Yes. Oh, but I mean, the food is free, but like everything else would not be. So like traveling there, whatever, all that. Sure. Shit. But like if you're in New York City, you can go to the fanciest restaurants and eat for free. Man, that's so important important to me. Yeah, I, you know, I thought you were going to pick that no-brainer. That's why I did two versus one. Yeah. You know? Oh! I, yeah, for my own health, I'm going with food. But it hurts, because I want Adderall. Three, two, one. Safari, Tyler the Creator. Put Find Your Wings. This is Savior by Kendrick Lamar. Oh! oh. oh. DJ Grant played us a sample. But he is not your savior. God damn it, dude. I'm not getting a fucking point today. I even thought for a second it could have been the beginning of All Right. That, yeah. Uh, 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 nah. But it was like manipulated or something. Hard shit's like, yeah. What? Soft shit's like, whoa. <laughs> That's what he says. Right? Why do we always turn Kendrick's song into being about poop? Because he's so serious. <laughs> yeah. And like so smart and intellectual and imparts wisdom on us. And then when you just imagine him singing about poop. <laughs> It's funny. <laughs> Caught a finish judging my life. Back peddler. What they say you do to cha cha. I'm a stand on it. Six five. K Doc got a BBL. <laughs> Gives you a lot to think about, honestly. Kendrick Lamar got a BBL, but he is not your savior. You finally got a point? <laughs> I can't even get my marker off. <laughs> Why are you mad now? You got one. <laughs> what the hell?
Why do you have the same reaction when you can't get one right as when you got one right? It's like when you tell a kid no a bunch of times and then he breaks down so much and then you say yes and he still throws a fit. That's kind of where I'm at. Right, like you wanted to go to McDonald's and they kept saying no and then eventually they're like, fine, if you'll stop crying and then he cries more. <laughs> I don't even want it anymore. I want to go to a fancy restaurant. McDonald's sucks dick. Jesus. Mom. McDonald's fucking sucks cock, mom. I want to go to fucking somewhere else. Get me a Happy Meal and I'm going to shove the toy up your ass, mom, you piece of shit. Jesus, man. I'm grown up now. I want to go to fucking Arby's. I want fucking roast beef, you hag. Three, two, one. Hey, mama. Hey, mama. Hey, mama. <laughs> hey, mama. This song has made me shed tears before. I love my mommy. <laughs> All right, let's hear a little Hey, mommy. <laughs> I'll be gone till November. It's a Wyclef Jean reference. If I were the president. That's another Wyclef Jean song. I can't name another, so don't ask. Check this out. Nothing even happened. That's what I'm gonna do to you. If you keep this attitude up. That's gotta be Minnie Ripperton. This is Stanley Cowell. Well, I mean, that's not Stanley singing. Unless he's rubbing one out. <laughs> What? <laughs> what? That, you can't hit notes like that when you're about to, you know? No! I really? No, not at all. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me that's not Minnie Ripperton. I don't know who Minnie Ripperton is. Don't play around. Yes, you do. Why would I know who Minnie Ripperton is? Uh, I don't know. She's one of four vocalists ever with a nine octave range. <laughs> okay. I mean, she can sing like... Mm, yeah. <laughs> Does she like sing to the dolphins and the dogs? This summer at SeaWorld and Westminster Dog Show, Minnie Ripperton. <laughs> <laughs> These dogs are freaking out. <laughs> These dolphins are trying to fuck everything. Unrelated, they are just like that. I mean, are you willing to go on record for $25 million? Would you have sex with a dolphin? Yes. <laughs> okay, I was excited. Sorry, can you ask it again? I want to answer it faster. Okay, are you willing to go on record for $25 million to fuck a dolphin? Yes. I didn't even really get the finish. I think I, I think that would have counted on Jeopardy. Yeah, like, right. like I think I buzzed in perfectly at the correct time, but yes, I would. How long would you have a sexual relationship for a dolphin? Would it be the rest of your life? You have access to that. Not the rest of my life. At some point, I'm going to have to come. Like, it's like, you know what I mean? I don't think I have the endurance to do yeah. the rest of my life, let alone maybe even 10 minutes with that corkscrew pussy they've got. <laughs> They've got it's that vor vortex. It's the vortex pussy. Yeah, sorry. It's a vortex. It's yeah. a vortex. Yeah, they've got a vortex vagina. Would you have sex three times a week with a dolphin? Yes. Okay. That's, that's For what? I don't know. $20 yes. million. Dollars. Sorry. <laughs> Free cigarettes? Yes. <laughs> Jeez. Because you'll have to move to Florida. Three, two, one. Put meal ticket, Isaiah Rashad. Oh, that's right. I put Tatiana by Blueface. Very close. This is What's Wrong by Isaiah Rashad featuring Kendrick and Zakari. Oh, damn it. Are we sure that's not Minnie Ripperton? It says Stanley, so it could be anything, you know? Cut my hand, bump my head, and fell on top, and run on sins, and friend on friend, and we don't win, and pay your taxes. I'm so wet of myself. Damn, I was really close on that one, but let's just keep it rolling. Keep it pushing. I hate it. This is Black Country New Road. This is Black Country New Road? Yes. And it's sampled by somebody? Yes. Whoa. This one was cool. If you were a WWE wrestler, what would be your walkout song? Oh, such a good, fun question. Um, ooh. <laughs> so like, I'm- Oh, it sounds very sarcastic. I'm right? in the WWE? Okay, yeah. <laughs> I get to fight with the great gravedigger, Hulky Hokey, Mikey Bonzo, and the Bonsai Twins. I get to fight them. Who's I my guess. tag team partner? Can it be you? No, I don't. <laughs> my come out song's gonna be, <sighs> gotta be a good one. Ooh, it's gotta drive the fans crazy. I don't want it to be enjoyable. I want it to strike fear and anxiety into my opponent's brains. <sighs> Oh, fire and rain, James Taylor. What? That's not gonna strike fear in anybody. I've seen fire and I've seen rain. I guess it could be pretty ominous, I guess, in the context. I've seen sunny days that I thought would never end. That'd be my walkout song, I'd be like. To James Taylor? I'd shoot a bow and arrow. Can't Someone in the crowd's like. You know what I mean? Is the bow and arrow hitting them or is they an unrelated flasher? The, the bow and arrow <laughs> hits them and kind of pulls their shirt well, off. Well, let's be fair. The arrow hits them, not the bow and the arrow. <laughs> the bow stays with you. <laughs> sure. The arrow goes at an angle and it kind of <laughs> it lifts up their shirt to show their boobs. I mean, that's, yeah, I don't want to do that, but it's, yeah, it's pretty awesome. I've seen fire and I've seen... 
I love me. That's how I do it. Three, two, one. I put nosedive Kenny Mason. I put mistakes by 24K Golden. This is Superman that by injury reserve. Oh, okay. That's cool. Superman that. See, in my head, I was like, Kenny Mason would sample like a heavy guitar thing yeah. like that. He does that on a lot of his beats. and Makes good sense. Yeah. Solid but, sense there. That's a cool recent sample, though, too. Ain't no saving me. Ain't no saving me or you. Wow, manipulated a lot too. Too yeah. noisy. That album is incredible though. Like yeah. literally made me cry. You cried. Yes. Real tears. You will you'll cry to that album. No, I won't. Dude. If you yeah, you will. I am so calloused and hardened by the shit life I've lived. Really? Nothing could make me cry anymore. Nothing. I don't know. If Nick Chubb got hurt, I would be. I would probably. <laughs> if Nick Chubb got hurt, that would make you cry. Like a like if a season end ending injury. No, not even like if a career ending injury, like his leg was like. <laughs> like part of it flew into the crowd. It's yeah. like I'm a little kid wearing a Chubb jersey. It's like uh, holding Nick's ligaments. Yeah, like that shit would make me cry like that. Now, what if his leg did the aforementioned yeah. and then it flew off at an angle, the leg did, and then it went up and lifted oh. up the oh. shirt? <laughs> That would be a mixed bag of emotions. Mixed bag, yeah, right. Because right. I'd be like, no, whoa, no. <laughs> kind of a, a Nick Half Chub. Yeah. If you will. Oh man, I ah, oh, what's this in? Eh, whatever. I'm just gonna guess some fucking bullshit, dude. There you go, son. I'm just gonna write whatever the fuck I want and just like not even give a shit or a fuck or whatever and shit like that. Like I'm kind of like d just done giving like a fucking shit about anything, and all my teachers can fucking eat ass <laughs> and fucking piss their fucking pants and cry to their mommies and shit like that and fuck them. You want to try PCP with me? I'll try literally anything, but I don't want to do it with you. I'm gonna do it alone in my room because fuck everybody in the whole world. It's fine. Let's go. Guess. We could guess. I don't even really give a fucking shit, though. Well, I'm going to count down from three, and I don't give a fuck what you do either. I like you. <laughs> I don't care. Three, two, one. Can't get over you, Westside Boogie. Bitch, that's what I guessed. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. This is It Can Be by Knowledge featuring Anderson Pack, ETA by Dr. Dre, Stoop Dog, Buster Rhymes, and Anderson Pack, and Shell by Kenny Mason. It had the soulful wow. West Side Boogie feel, but I don't think that song includes a sample. Yeah, I didn't like think it was actually that. I literally just wrote it because I was like, it had the West Side Boogie feel. Yeah. God, that's nice. Yeah, it's just a classic sample. Like, knowledge is so fucking good. Now that I hear it too, I'm like, duh, that's such a knowledge thing to have that Maybe. punctuation at the end. My baby. Mm -hmm. ah. Please, let's go. That was, come on now. No, Give it up. Oh, no, pick it up, pick it up. Shrill. Pick it up. Paramore goes ska. <laughs> Wasn't exactly on my 2020 bingo card. All right, let's get into the last one. Wow. Fucking Post Malone? I don't know. <laughs> it's over for you. Fucking Despacito? I don't know. Fucking Desperado by the Eagles? Desperado. Gorilla Your Desperado by Warren Zevon? Fucking stop riding fences. You know, I had a buddy who, when he was growing up, he was getting bullied a lot in the orphanage. So he started working out a bunch. Yeah. You know, he needed endorphins. <laughs> it's pretty good. It's like half baked. Like I'm not proud of that. Yeah. All the way. But I, if you get, if you got something, you might as well say it. Cause like, who gives a fucking shit or whatever and shit like that. Dude, you know what? I said I didn't either, but like, I kind of like you. I don't give a fucking <laughs> fuck the world. Three, two, one. I ain't got time. Woman, Doja. I ain't got time by Tower of the Creator. I ain't got time. time Play it, Poland. I ain't got time to Poland. Let's hear it, G. Whatever. I ain't got time for these niggas. Better throw a watch at the boy. That was one of my worst performances ever, bro. Sorry about that, y'all. I'll do better next time. Or I won't. So, so, so if you want to see us do this again on Unlimited or on our main channel, let us know. Send some samples over to DJ Grant. His stuff's linked in the description. Uh, make sure you like the video, subscribe, all the stuff I did not say at the beginning. Get tickets for our live show October Please. 30th. Do it! Halloween party. And other than that, Grant, you want to leave these people with some advice? Leave a little the lies, bud? Yeah, get some fucking money or die a coward. All right, this has been High by Unlimited. We'll see you in the next one. We love you and whatever. I don't even care. <laughs>